Hello everyone and welcome to another video where this time we're running at much higher speeds than ever before. The 2021 Season 1 build has brought us the Dallara IR01, a futuristic open wheel racer with a super wide and low profile, a naturally aspirated V10 that screams up to 20,000 RPM and tyres that are wider than a small palace. When introduced, the car divided opinions on the iRacing service with its virtual focus development. But if we ignore its design process and the fact it does not currently exist in the real world, how is it as a race car? How does it perform and what are some of the things it does well and what does it perhaps need a little improvement on? That is precisely what we'll be looking into today as we ask, is this car worth your money? I am by no means an open wheel regular. However, with the open wheel experience that I do have on the iRacing platform, I have to say that both the physical effort and the mental focus required to drive this car at any speed, let alone at the limit, is far higher than anything else on the sim at the moment. This car will make you work hard behind the wheel. The car requires a tremendous amount of inputs at every stage to keep the car pointed on the road. With the iRacing baseline steps provided, it is very stable mid-corner, but just like any open wheel car to extract the maximum out of it, the faster, more optimized steps for raw lap time are going to be much looser on entry and mid-corner. The car is incredibly nervous on throttle application with no assist to be found in the way of trash control, with the 900 brake horsepower V10 ready to deploy all of its power for you at any moment if you get a little trigger happy. Oh, I do I'll pass on you, both. Why must you hurt me like this? From a slow speed, this car will very happily burst into wheel spin, and even on medium speed corners, careful modulation of the right foot is needed. In fact, if you really try hard enough, you can even get wheel spin in 7th gear. When you do manage to get your foot down, though, this car really goes. To give you an idea of just how fast this Dallara is, around Silverstone in similar weather conditions to that of the 2020 British Grand Prix, the Dallara IR01 on soft compound tyres, qualifying fuel and the iRacing Silverstone baseline setup, I managed to put in a time of 1 minute 27.8 after just 6 laps. Admittedly, that would have been the last place on the Formula 1 grid, but by less than 2 tenths of a second off Nicholas Latifi's Williams. My days of competing in the Road World Championships are long gone, but this car in more capable hands, like a Josh Rogers or a Sebastian Job, could very easily find the extra 7 tenths needed to get out of qualifying 1, and maybe even come close to making it into Q3. In terms of getting the most out of the car, it does have a wide range of setup options for you to play around with. The good news is though, compared to something like the McLaren MP430, this car is much more simplified with no electronic mapping and deployment figures to worry about. In fact, you only get two gearbox options and the front wing is the only adjustable aero feature on the car. This is an excellent move in my opinion for this car. Despite being a complex open wheel car, being as simplified as possible in its setups is excellent for keeping the result of a race in the hands of the drivers rather than the engineers. And if you are a little new to developing setups and it's still a little intimidating, iRacing has provided a fantastic amount of information in the notes section of the setup page, as well as iRacing's brilliant new user manuals they upload onto the forums that go into even greater depths. The difference between the three tyre compounds on the car is very noticeable too and should provide some exciting race strategies. I took the car to Phillip Island, a circuit that asks a lot of the tyres in repeated long loaded corners. The hard tyre, as it should, takes by far the longest of the three compounds to come up to proper operating temperatures and pressures, with the car getting noticeably faster and faster over the opening five laps of the run in particular. Phillip Island is a small track overall, with lap times only a little over a minute long. With only two major braking zones, as such, the difference between the softest and the hardest compound was just 6 tenths a lap here, with the medium compound slowing in pretty perfectly in the middle. The hard compound, however, did end up 0.6 a lap more durable than the soft per lap though, meaning while the hard tyre could theoretically go on for 89 laps before puncturing, the soft could only manage 57 before the tyre lets go entirely. The car is not without its flaws though. The steering feel is a little odd with the car feeling as if it floats and wanders around a little bit on the straights. 
Thankfully, iRacing staff have recognized this and believe they have found the issue which will be patched soon, with the self-aligning torque of the rear tires being out of sync to that of the front tires being to blame. Along with this, they further recognized that the force feedback was out of line compared to other cars on the simulator, with everybody forced to running much lower values than anything else on the sim. Thirdly, the collision model in major crashes with this car is glitchy to say the least. I've seen plenty of wrecks in my time of watching motorsport and I've never seen a car do this. This car is scheduled to be used in an iRacing World Championship in late 2021, a product that iRacing would no doubt be wanting to promote very heavily. Before showing this product off to the masses on a professionally broadcast stream on the official iRacing social media platforms, these crash physics need to be resolved at the risk of the platform being laughed at. I'm going to wrap the video up there, let me know your thoughts on the IR01 down below in the comments section. Will you be racing this? Will you go for the World Championship? I'd love to hear from you all. I'm Bro Albert, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.